Hello. 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 How are Hi. you guys? Oh, great. There's like a friggin' tornado outside. Yeah, it's been pretty like miserable here too all day. Like we it had, is. We had, oh. we had a St. Patrick's Day parade here today and it was kind of crappy. Oh, it's wow. horrible. The wind it's is crazy. Cold the wind. Rain and wind. Um, yeah. Let me say hi to everybody in the chat. We have a oh, lot. Thank of you, Dobby. That's so sweet. I love Dobby. Hey, while Dobby. I, <laughs> oh, I'm Dobby. I'm still sans a laptop, but there's, some, there's a lot to go over. Sister Wives, uh, Traders, Beverly Hills, Mighty Day. Let's see how much we can fit into one live. Um, hey, on. Drazo. Hi, everybody. Okay, so let me see. There's Kimmy. There's Kimmy. 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 Hi, Velvet. Hey, Keela. Amanda Pink Paws. Mel B. Mia Clark. Dobby. Um, Patricia with a C. Sheila Wicked. Ruth Ann. Little Sue. Michelle Love My Rex. Uh, Mel B. Brooklyn, what are you doing? I will not. Just for the record, be eating this evening on live. <laughs> Just so for the record. Right now? Is that is that what you're saying? No, was that no I, I think that my uh I think it's the weather. I heard it too. Hey Ellie, it must be the weather. Um that's what that is. <laughs> or a bag of chips. I think it's, it's the cool. weather. Yeah, the weather. <laughs> Blame it on the cute. weather. Nikki, uh let's see. Velvet, I saw hi already, but okay. Cat Lover, Betty Boo, Bougie, Dobby, Barbie, Steven, Zelda. <clears throat> I saw Jules earlier. I don't know if she's still here. No, I got Jules. Thank Angelica. you, Mel. Thank you, Mel B. Thank you so much. Angelica is my, my female Final Fantasy player, so now that's how I remember you. Hi, Judy Bridget. Moore, hello. Um, Work. Alcoholic chick. I'll try MW. I'll try. I'm not. I'm not eating. <laughs> it was I'm the just weather. Not doing it. <laughs> Mia, I have been like very close to being on time recently. Like, if not on time, nine thirty-four like, is early for Mister Yates. Yes, exactly. Very, very close. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. I haven't gotten down that far yet to the thank yous. Hold on. I'm, I'm getting there. Geneva. Hello. Um, Mikey, Mary Barcelona, Susie Shops, 58 Shoujo, Tanya, Lordy Franca, Linda S, Lisa Jones in the hizzy, uh, Stephen C, Pat Trish E, oh man, MW, Paulette Crooks. They're showing up tonight. Last name, huh, Paulette? Oh, right, Lisa Jones. Okay. That should be my last name. John Crooks. I mean, I've been called worse, huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, Betty, <laughs> Sandra K, Bijou, uh, who else is here? Jewel ja Jock. I'm sorry. Again, I'm on my iPad, and it takes a lot longer for this to load. Zelda Z, Workaholic. Oh, thank you, Mel B. Now I finally got to where the thank yous are. Workaholic Chick, hello. Bridget, say hello. Thank you, Stephen. For the memberships, who got them? I'm bringing them up now. Um, let's see. Sushi Shops, Workaholic, Flower Child, Kimmy, Sweet Sue. Okay, I'm good with that. Wait a minute. Mel B just gifted another five. Thank you, Mel B. What? Uh, who's the lucky winners on that one? I'm scrolling. Not right, but not bad, right, Nikki? Um, Mary Barcelona, Stephen, Dobby. Good, good, good. I like Thank it. you for the super chat, Dobby. Thank you. Wow, well, you guys are coming you. hot out the gate. I know, I love it. And crafting with MTT got one too. Oh, MTT got one. I love when people that deserve them get them. Yay! You guys are coming hot out the gate. <clears throat> All right, so you guys are um, and who said that we were cuts again? I'm 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 keeping my quaff. 
because it's all about to get cut off. So I'm trying to get like I like the quaff tonight. Oh, Lisa, oh, got five more. Um, Nicole, B oh, loves I honey. AJ, go oh my god, JJ, Teresa, Rabbit. Um, I'm getting overwhelmed. Sheba, Cookie. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little perclamped. I'm we getting MW. We might need a topic. The P is either P nor or not discuss. Guys, um, you are so generous. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. This is um, crazy. Uh, Pride Bad and Row. JJ or Teresa, rather. Teresa Judice getting a membership. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, gotta talk about that in a little bit. What the love bubble? That's thank uh, you, Betty Boo. Guys, thank you so so much. Like, I this is amazing. Um, uh, guys, I know you're happy to see me, but oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh my god! This is amazing. Uh, I uh, you know. You know you. what? We needed this boosted morale uh, on we this do. Saturday night. You have no idea. So I really, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. This is crazy. We do. This, this is amazing. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the, the best people in the world, especially on YouTube. Thank you, Mel B. Aww. All right, That's so right. You're here now. Oh, where do we, we begin? You. There's a lot to cover. Where do we begin? I don't even know where to start. Um, let's do traitors. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm out of this Brooklyn. conversation. I'll just make believe I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, just 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 go with it. You'll be fine. I'll just um, make crap up. Who in the chat has been keeping? Who has been watching the traitors? Because uh, the epi the, the final episode just aired. My sound is going to be as crappy as it is. I can't fix it. And do, we have a storm going do on. I sound that I, do I sound that bad? I can't fix this. No, no not that bad. No, I, I just I have I'm on, I'm working off my iPad, and until I get a new computer, it's this is going to be like this. So, it's okay. Bila, Bila, I am with you, but okay. Has anybody in the chat been keeping up with the, with the traders? No, not all at once now. <laughs> okay, passing on traders. Well, quickly, since we don't have a traders group. All here. right. Well, Cookie is faithful, so you got to do it. Okay. Uh, the traders just ended. Uh, it was between um, Kate Chastain from Below Deck, um, uh, CT, and uh, Trishel from The Challenge in Real World. Then we had MJ from Show of the Sunset. Those were, those were the final four. Sheree got murdered. Um, the night before, poor Sheree. Even if after, after Sheree finally woke up and voted Phaedra out, and, and then she realized she realized she was playing a game. Then then she gets you know murdered in the middle of the night, and then we're left with those four. And I honestly thought that like you know they were idiots for not thinking that Kate was a traitor, right? So when they get to the final four, Kate really blew it. By, yeah, by using the green thing to say let's end it because yeah. obviously there was a traitor still in there because they had killed Sheree. So that would that was Kate's dead giveaway, right there. I'm like, Kate, yeah, and she even said like in an interview, like you know she was just had she got there from the beginning and been selected as a traitor from the beginning, she probably would have you know, tossed it in there as like, we need another banishment. But she said in the moment, she just was like, okay, let's, let's get this over with. It's on Peacock Zelda. And we're going to touch on sister wives in a second, the whole garrison thing. I just want to say something very brief about it, but um, yeah. So Kate screwed it up and Kate was on the first season too. So, so she should have known better. Like we're like, we're big Kate Chastain fans in this house. Right. And I wouldn't have minded if she had won it, but uh, she she blew it, and then the the real takeaway was after they voted Kate out at the you know at the final banishment with the flames and everything, you know they all knew they were faithfuls. And there's you know I'm sorry, there's nothing there's nothing nobody could tell me. You know, they all knew MJ was good, and yeah, 
they get to like the last vote and then they decide to do another banishment. And I'm like, okay, me thinking, me and Cody are talking out loud. And I'm like, okay, that's CT and Trishel wanting just, just to split the money between the two of them. I got that feeling too. You know, because just in their conversations with CT or with MJ alone, you know that she, and her just genuine reaction to them wanting another vote was. Yeah, go ahead. Drop your channel. Drop it. You know, yeah, go ahead, Steven. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I was going to call him like that. CT and Trishel being like really super sneaky and like, you know, let's just like, you know, cut MJ out of it. And we'll split more money between ourselves. Right. And then when they do the vote, Trishel votes for CT. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I was like, what's going on? I think she did, like, I think it was planned, like you said. I think that she was like, okay, let's, you, you know, I'm going to vote for you. You're going to vote for MJ. And MJ, it, you know, they knew who MJ was going to vote for. So then when she went to go break the tie, of course she was going to pick MJ. And like, you know, I don't feel bad for MJ not winning. She's from Shaw's at Sunset. Like, yeah. she, she wipes her ass with $100 bills. Yeah, she, like, she ain't she, clipping coupons. She didn't need the money, you know. So I wasn't like, oh, okay. I was fine with that. I was totally fine with well, it. Oh, thank you, Mel B. Thank you, Mel B. I, I was fine with them getting rid of um, MJ. And if I was there with somebody I trusted, I probably would have been the same thing. Cause I want, I want more money, you know, and right. MJ doesn't need it. <laughs> she don't. Uh, but then when Trishel voted for CT, I was like, wow. Yeah. See, I, when she voted for CT, I'm like, this is planned. Just you think that, was, that was all part of it. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think that they probably got together, you know, and either they didn't show it, or I mean, they would have went into the season knowing each other was on the show. So it's like, okay, if we make it to the final two, you know, we're going to split the money between us. No, MJ does not need the money, and she's by any means. She she's good. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't think she's a cajillionaire. I think she's okay, though. No, she she's up there with the money. She she yeah. she's on Shaw's at Sunset. The, those people like they, it's, and Shaw's is over now, gold. right? Like, it's totally right. done. So she, yeah, there was going to be a show like a spinoff with her, Reza, and Gigi, but it never came to light. See, I've only watched like maybe three or four episodes of that show because, like, you know. Like, I like Beverly Hills, but, like, you know, on Shaw's, it's, like, just so much flashiness. You know, I just it's just not my cup of tea. And then, then was it Riza who was on, like, the first season who, who got voted out, like, you know, murdered the, the first episode or whatever? I think so. Reza? You mean Reza? Yeah. Reza yes. Yeah. Well, and Reza was on every season of... Uh... No, I'm talking about Traitor, because he was on yes. the first... Yes, he oh, was, okay. like, one of the first ones out. And, um, yeah, so... Good, you know, and we've been watching. You know, I, I was happy that CT and Trishel won because I'm all I'm in my I'm, I'm in my old bubble of like reality TV, and I think of CT and Trishel from like the real world, like you yeah, know, years ago too. And I'm happy that they won. And CT hasn't been around in a while. Um, happy Trishel won. Trishel, like you know, she fought that whole game, so I, I'm happy. Like the only my only problem was how they got rid of Sandra. But you know, Sandra won Survivor twice too, and right. you know she really didn't need it either. So I'm happy how it played out. Yeah. What I uh, did you watch the reunion? I did. You know, like MJ and, was and MJ seriously so, like so big mad. MJ is hurt. big big mad. Yeah. Uh, she was just like so hurt, and I thought they brought up a good point where they're like, you know, the the gamers, it's a game. Whereas, you know, the Peacock, or not the Peacock, but the non-gamers, the reality LBD. stars, took it very personally. Thank you, Melby, for the cash app. 
Um, no, no, MJ took it personally, man. And like, yeah. you know, if I was MJ, I probably would have felt as bitter. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, I don't think anybody ever thought she was a traitor. You know, she was just too stupid to have been one. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I would have been bitter, but, you know, she didn't need the money. She she made it to the finals. Good for you. You know, you made yeah. it to the finals. You know, you were you were the, the third person. You actually were the first loser out. Which makes it worse. I don't know. I, I, I... <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Kate even said in an interview that I read that, you know, had she won, it would have always been like a lingering question. You know, she came in mid season, then she became a traitor. She said she really wouldn't have felt good. Not that she would have turned the money down, but she would have, you know, she didn't know about the authenticity of the win. It's okay. I mean, it's over. It was, it was a great season. Like, I it was, was a good like, season. That last episode was like good TV. Like yes. me and Cody were screaming like in the house, like "Oh my god!" Like we were like, yeah, we, we could not believe what we were watching. So it, it was it was good TV. Yeah, and they'll was, eventually probably show it on like Bravo or one of the NBC have. families. Well, you know what? Miami started off as a reboot on Peacock, and now it's back on Bravo. This show will make it to like either Bravo or NBC for sure. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. It, it is really good. I mean, there are it's a, it's a new concept, and there are kinks that need to be worked out. Like you know, but I, I really enjoy that show. What I would have loved is like the next season because I love the format. I love the all reality stars. I would like for them to have like the ultimate trader who like they're selected at the beginning. They don't have any powers. They have no decision, but if they make it to the end, then they get the $250,000. Or like a trader to the traders. Like exactly. Yeah. Like the ultimate trader. If they're the last one standing, they're the ultimate trader and they get the 250,000. And guys, even though the Peacock does not pay me for this endorsement, like it's only like four ninety nine a month, and I've had Peacock for like three years now since it came out, and they've never raised their prices, uh, and they have like a lot of good stuff on there. Um, yeah, I mean, like right now you can see Oppenheimer. Yeah, like um, movies that like you know they'll, they'll stream movies like you know the same day they come out to the theaters on Peacock, like the, like the other like like the other streaming services do. Yeah. Uh, it's good. I, I, I really enjoy Peacock. Yeah. I mean, they showed like Fast 10 before it came available on other streaming platforms. So, you know, it's and, and they've got a lot of great shows on there. So definitely worth the $4.99 or $5.99. We were just watching Parks and Rec on uh, Peacock, Akila, <laughs> because I can't watch The Office anymore because I watch every episode of The Office like eight million times. Like I have them all committed to memory. So it's good. And like, you know, if you're a housewife <clears throat> fan, you know, you can watch every old episode of any of the housewives yeah. on there. Yeah. Uh, like from season one. Yeah. It, and can you good. do that? Can you do that on TV naturally? Like, can you do that on demand or whatever? It, I think they only go back so far though. Depends. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, you know, I haven't had regular cable since I left Long Island. I still have it. I'm paying a fortune for it. Well, yeah, on we have it for my mom. Cable vision, can you hit on the on demand button and see like what you can pull up, like you know, on demand from like the housewife stuff? I'm gonna have to look because I think you can go pretty far back on demand. Yeah, I mean, they're not gonna go back to season one, but right. you're gonna probably go back five or six seasons. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. All right, so uh, get Peacock um, if you want it. And uh, are we? You're right, MW. You, there might be a charge when you go that far back. Yeah. Well, no, not for yeah, but for like Peacock, it's five ninety nine a month. It does have commercials. I mean, you could upgrade for like no commercials. Yeah, which is worth it. <laughs> for five ninety nine, I'm okay with commercials, but yeah, there are I'm, I'm several the movies that they'll show. Like, I don't the think Oppenheimer are like is fifteen seconds. Like, it's, yeah. it's not like the commercials are quick. You know, yeah, it's not bad. yeah, Oppenheimer. I think they're showing without commercials. So let's move on to um, sister. Are we good with traders? I mean, like, I, we're good with traders. I know a lot of people don't watch it. 
much. So I don't want to like, you know, make a whole big thing out of it. Yeah, no, it was good. I enjoyed it. Well, can we... I already watched my interview with Hoops. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I have to tell you guys something. I enjoyed it. And I didn't know because I'm a little bit younger than John. I didn't oh, know who God, Hoops was. A little bit younger, she says. She's three <laughs> years younger than me. I'm a little bit she's, younger. She's older than Cody. A little look 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 at her. Oh, I'm a little bit younger than John. So Guys, I'm look how not really he's... like all that. Like I don't know about all those TV shows. Everybody in the chat. So yeah. I'm older than I remember no. that. Look how pissy John gets when I mention I'm younger. Because <laughs> she's like I'm a little bit Super younger, pissy. so I don't understand it. Okay. Yeah. I'm well, old and listen, I remember I think it. that three to four years in TV land makes a big difference. Just yes. saying. I'm we were very... in high school at the same time. Okay. So <laughs> Whatever. <stop. laughs> I was a senior and you were a freshman. Don't make it seem like. Yeah, I'm and that's a up. big difference. There's a whole maturity <laughs> level thing in those three years. <laughs> oh, my God. What you? Drazo. Wait, Drazo, how old are you? In our family, I'm the oldest, so I win. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm so I was born in 82. What year were you born? Oh, he I was, almost could have given birth to you. He was born in 79. You were? He, I, I was, and he was too. Oh, you're the same age. I'm, I, But I'm older. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Brooklyn, I could have given birth to you, but not John. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm holding that title, Wicked. I'm holding that title. I mean, I would have been 16 or something at the time, but maybe 14. <laughs> but like in our family hierarchy, I am the oldest. And, the and he's holding on to that. So there's that. It, it goes me, Stephen, my sister, and Lisa. That that's the order of age in our little um, sibling group. So there you go. See, I think my oldest cousin is probably sixty-four. I mean, I am the oldest cousin on both sides of my family. So I I am forty-one, and I am the oldest cousin on both sides. I'm the first grandchild. So. My youngest cousin is three. And when's oh, your wow. birthday? When's your birthday there, uh, fucking girl? What month? Uh, July. Hmm. So I am a Leo. So you'll be uh, 42. But right now I'm 41. Oh, okay. But right now, okay. <laughs> but, but right now I'm 41. <laughs> Just saying right now I'm 41. I'm 55. So with that being said, I'm 41. <laughs> and sometimes when I talk, I say, oh, yeah, I'm 40 now. And I just hang off the one. Yeah, 50s. Uh, my next zero is 60. <laughs> so my mom and I are 20 years apart. So she's 61. And I'm 41. So but it's like crazy because I feel like you know, we like grew up together. And my parents That's are married. Bro, like my great grandmother had my grandmother at eighteen. My grandmother had my mother at like seven. It's very yeah. It's yeah. very common. Yeah. My parents were married a year before they had me, and they're still married. They're married uh, forty three years. God bless them. But yeah, we were pretty close in age. My mother had me at twenty five, and that was late for anybody. That like, was late. Twenty five. Like, she was a spinster. Like we would have called her a spinster. <laughs> yeah, twenty five. Mm -hmm. That was late. Like your eggs are dried up. Like, Imagine you know, that. Some babies out. Uh, what the hell was wrong with us? I, my mom had me at 25. Uh, so I was the late bloomer. Or my mother was. I don't know. Uh, but um, let's move on to the next subject, which I think I don't want to touch on this a lot because I said I would. But we have to touch on it because of the, what happened recently. Right. So on so, sister no. related, uh, I guess... Uh, maybe two nights ago, uh, I think Katie Joy reported that there was a uh, cop cars. Actually, I just had a, uh, I just read from someone that sent me something recently that th it was instead of sending cop cars, they sent some kind of grief counseling cars. Now, see, I'd read it was, was like a mental health type yes. of 
Yes. It's like a care unit where they send. Yes, that that's what it was. Absolutely. It was the Almost care like unit. Not mental health professionals, but people who are having a mental health crisis. Correct. And it's, it's for people suffering from grief and mental health crisis. And that is who showed up. One of the neighbors at Robin and Cody's house contacted Katie Joy and told her what was going on. There was apparently three cars that responded to this call for someone in the house. But I saw I read a post today stating that the three cars that were shown in the driveway were the cars that are always there and that cop cars never came that night. I don't know. I I don't know. And people were like, you know, messaging me and stuff like that. I cannot fix the volume, guys. It's okay. Also, I Katie can't. Joy usually doesn't post. I, I think she doesn't post things that are not in that way accurate. But she did put some pictures up with it tonight of if cars in the driveway. No, I'm not grifting, but if you want me to get a computer. I'm waiting for my birthday. But if you want me to get a new <laughs> computer quick, quickly or uh you send me some money on cash app but uh, there you go <laughs> like it's gonna it's gonna be like this for a bit until i get a new computer um yeah. so um so there's uh, there's other stories stating that like you know that never happened i, I don't know that's why i didn't report on it people were sending yeah. me messages like left and right you know then i know there was another um youtuber today with a small audience who got the police records from it which is like weird to me but wow. uh, they did a whole live about like reading the police record from that night i don't i don't want to talk about it i don't yeah i i, I did read katie joy's uh post and i did think that she was very respectful she said she did get the police report and out of respect for gabe and janelle that she wasn't a lot of it. She had redacted a lot of it. Yeah. Um, especially yeah. with regards and respect to Garrison, but apparently Cody never showed up. That's like the big story of it that at no time did Cody show up. Which is still confusing, but uh, again, I don't know. I don't even know how to talk about this subject. I don't even. Me, me neither. A part yeah, of me doesn't does. really feel comfortable speaking on it. It's just such a young death. It's so sad. It's so traumatic. My heart bleeds for Janelle. Yeah. As a mother myself, I, I just can't. Looking at my son, you know, he's six feet tall. He's getting so big and he's a teenager. And I just can't imagine what that woman is going through. So for me, it's just heartache. Yeah, it just, um, you know, I, I hope the family is getting help for Gabe. Absolutely. And that, Absolutely. you know, I, and, and from you know what, what I can, I, yeah, I'm sorry, Wicked. No, it's okay. And from what I can see, people are, most people are being respectful. A lot yeah. of people are coming down on Cody, but I, I can't do that, you know. And to be I, honest, I, I thought exactly what Nikki thought, that maybe Cody lost it because that is his son. Again, right. his parents, everybody. Like, no matter what we watch on TV and no matter the drama and the crap, this is their child, the child they brought into the world. And that's it. That's it. Thank you, Drazo. Thank you, Drazo. And okay. Blonde Boca Vegan got that. Oh, Blonde Boca Vegan. I know you. That's a cool name. No, she's been, she, Blonde Boca Vegan's been in my chats for like years. So, like, wow. Welcome back, girly. Um, so, Come on, tip squeak. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, I, I just don't want to talk about it. Um, so, yeah. what I do, can I tell you what I do want to talk about? Yeah, go ahead. I would love to talk about Teresa Giudice's love bubble bursting a little bit. How so? That, that well, I mean the money. preview and the thing. Uh, first of all, I just love me some John Fuda. Now, let me rephrase. I am absolutely not attracted to John Fuda. And I don't find him good looking. But the things that he says, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you say it, Mr. Fuda. I like the Fudas. They, I do too. They are very... They come across very down to earth, very honest, yeah. and you know, 
I, I just, oh, I like them. They're a very likable couple. You also have to deal with now. And again, Jersey starts on May 5th, I want to say. Um, and uh, we have to, now we see that Jackie turns Judas uh, yeah. against Margaret and is friends with Teresa now. Yeah. That's Do you good. think that she did that, though, to... Oh, that was so calculated face. to get herself back on that show. That was calculated. Oh, Jackie, Jackie wants to be full-time again. For yeah, sure. 100%. 100%. And just like Laura, you know, Margaret's friend, now Jackie is following suit. Who I is all like on the that. news? Because I haven't watched the trailer, so who... Well, I'll tell you the best part about it, Wicked. When John Fuda walks out of the restaurant and says, if I need my money laundered, I know who to call. <laughs> that, that was the best Other part. Than that, the trailer kind of sucked on my end. I didn't find it like that. No, that was literally the best part, John. That was it. So now we're going to see, like, I guess, you know, but Teresa's like, no, me and Louie are still in the love And bottle. I, so I saw that. I saw that they're insinuating that her and Louie are having some marital problems and, you know, he's spending her money. And I thought, eh, that's probably just for the show. Then I saw another YouTuber up and at him. He posted um, that he's like, you know what, guys, I'm going to tell you, I believe that he's spending her money and. Some people are talking in this part of woods, and I'm like, yeah, I do, I do too. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. And she was dumb enough not to get a prenup. You know, I'm gonna quote up and at him. He said, "Listen," she kept saying, "He makes more money than me. He makes more money than me." How do we know he makes more money than her? How does she even know? She's, you know what I mean? Like, who knows if that's even true? Who, Teresa, who doesn't know her ass from her elbow? Exactly. <laughs> who did not sign a prenup after going to jail with the first man. And I love how she says to Fuda, uh, that was my husband. Really, honey? Because you signed your name to it and went to jail, too. Right. Like, what's so that? that? Teresa also was convicted. That's right. Like, you know, She's a convicted felon. Cool. If she was as clueless as she see, I was just signing in the paperwork. Who was the cucumber? Come on. I'm making brajol. Uh Nobody wants to put me in jail. Uh, well. So. I mean, if nothing else, to protect her assets for her children. She's a dingbat. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, all that the first time around and then not sign a prenup. Like, remember Andy Cohen on that episode of Watch What Happens Live? And he's like, what? Yep. He looked at her like, we're going to talk after this. Yeah, I just... Care. You know, especially because she worked so hard to dig herself out of her hole. And she's digging herself another deeper one. Exactly. Wild. Teresa went to jail because the judge saw her and Teresa putting money she didn't claim on her bankruptcy. The next year, she lied about the money and she said she didn't lie. You know, it's funny. Um, we sold, you know, I'm in a condo now, but our old neighbor, I kid you not, has been building his house for 20 something years. And it's still not complete. I mean, for the longest time, he had just like a foundation. And then he had studs and i mean like none of this stuff was covered i don't know how it will ever pass a final inspection but he's filed bankruptcy quite a few times well this last time someone like went to court and was like uh no you need to go check his house at this location because he's hiding his boat there he's hiding this there and this there a lot of times yeah a lot of times when people file bankruptcy it's just the cover right and I'll have you know the judge did not grant his latest bankruptcy. Yeah, there you go. She is a dingbat. Yeah, a and, dingbat. Yeah, because the house is considered new is construction. Like generous, by the way. He doesn't have yeah, a time frame of which it has to be complete. But I, I should you not. It's been being built for twenty five years. Listen, when you have been convicted convicted that's what Jacqueline said like you know remember when Jacqueline came back like season seven 
Yeah. Yep. Recently yep. In jail. Yep. And she was like, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going. And Jacqueline was like, uh, no, you were convicted and went to jail. Like that's it. <laughs> End like, of storyline. Convicted. And now her and Jacqueline are friends again. Yeah, only in the Bravo universe are these things possible. And YouTube. You know, yes, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And YouTube. Only yep. in, in Bravo and YouTube. Would they, would, in La La Land. Would that ever be, would, it, that's would they right. ever be friends again? That's right. Like, Wild. You know, I always loved Jacqueline Lorita. I was always hoping she'd come back when she moved. Oh, yeah, I loved her too, but I don't love her, you know, up Teresa's behind to the no, left. Sir. Nor do I like Jackie up Teresa's ass either. Well, listen, so. that I saw a mile coming. She wasn't getting back on the show being loyal to her friends because she tried that last year. Staying loyal to her friends wasn't giving her the results that she wanted. So what, what's the next thing to do? Jump ship, switch teams, and I'll shake it up. And there's no way they're going to let me go. And there you go. Yeah, and um, now, you know, Teresa needed numbers, you know, because all Teresa had was stupid fucking Jennifer, right? Yep. <laughs> so, that's, yep. you know, so, you know, and now Jackie, like, you know, the smart one is now friends with Teresa. But like, you know, Jackie, we can't forget all the horrible things you said and done to Teresa. And like, Teresa is the, uh, Jackie is the only one that has ever, ever, ever referenced Teresa's child and drugs in the same sentence. Well, what about like when Teresa was like the first uh, reunion that Jackie was on, uh, and Teresa was talking about like her book, and uh, Jacqueline's like, "Oh, you you mean the ghostwriter that wrote that?" And like you know, and then she's like, "Okay, Miss Miriam Webster," because Teresa. That's uh, right. You know, and <laughs> and now you're good with Jackie, and then after that, that whole hubbub about Can her you kid, imagine that Gia, that Gia was doing coke in the in the sorority house? That's right. And stuff like right. That. And, and Teresa couldn't let that go, and now they're thick as thieves like this. Get the fuck out. Let me let me kick let me kick you away. That's yeah. BS. It's come on, man. Such bullshit. That, well, that's I mean, Teresa needing numbers because she's uh, down yeah. and whatever. And and Jackie is being used by Teresa because Jackie can't stand on her own. And but as so Nini would say, we use each other. So Sorry, I'll shut up now. Go ahead. <laughs> no, as Nini would say, they use each other. It's just the way that world works. They use each other. And they're okay with it. They're okay being used. I mean, I even remember, like, uh, Jennifer making fun of Jackie because, you know, like, the birthday party that she threw for her kids. I mean, my God, she served pizza and, you know, the party favors. She remember she was on the party favors yep. at the end of the driveway. Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah. That's like here's your here's the Amazon bag. <laughs> Take like, your you the this shit. Take one and leave. Like that was it. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting season, to say the least. But wait, we're gonna have some surprise uh, New Jersey Hi, on um, the upcoming season on my channel because we've been working on things here. So yeah. uh, wait for it. Because we're going to have some uh, surprises when Jersey starts. Uh, I can't wait for it. I am excited. I can't wait for it. So, all right, moving on. Uh, am I going that show with you or no? If, if I'm not, it's okay. Wait, what? Jersey with you. Well, you've always done Jersey. So okay. I, okay. Yeah, I thought you were. Okay. And Where Addie, are you going? You're not going nowhere. <laughs> and Eddie. Eddie will be with us, too. Oh, good. The team is back. The Bravo team is back again. So, back again. Uh, our head is in the game. Our head is in the game. Uh, what, what, all right. So um, Beverly Hills. W what are we thinking on that with the reunion? Um, I just need to know what team Kyle is on. I just Can someone just clarify this for me? We really don't know. Here's I mean, what I've I'll never see. seen such like a story like this before. It's a yes or a no. What is the big deal? It's 2024. No one cares except me. This is what I think is happening. Kyle is experiencing like a midlife crisis of absolutely, sport. absolutely. You know, 
the youngest kid is you know almost starting to drive so she doesn't need mom to take her places i'm sure she have friends who are old enough to drive um mauricio is My building his brand because he obviously doesn't have time he's got enough people selling real estate for him the real estate he doesn't need to sell. you know who i think is happiest about this is kathy that's why kathy in my opinion reason being um don't forget how mauricio started his company girl yeah off the back of rich hilton yeah, yeah. Rick, rick mauricio company. didn't mauricio used to work for rick or something yeah. and then he branched off and started the agency he sure did and allegedly that's why kathy and uh kyle didn't talk for many years what is this right well Chloe's making sauce well, I gave you the piece like you always like. I just gave me a piece of bread with sauce. Oh, he's such a little good guinea. A guinea in training. Um, look at him. I oh, love oh. that. I love Erica Jane's, like, expressions, though. Like, you can see, like, she's like, I am happy. This is not about me. I'm kicking back. I'm relaxing. I'm having a good time. Well, like the last, like, you know, what, four seasons of Beverly Hills, which were amazing, yeah. it was all about Erica and, like, the stuff that was going on. And he I had a lot of heat on her for a while. And, and now that, like, you know, the whole Erica and Tom thing has fizzled out, you know, it's it's not as, like, you know, groundbreaking as it was, you know, yeah, when it happened. Exciting. Now this show is kind of, like, getting back to, like, you know, meh. Like, this season of Beverly Hills like, was, like, you know, boring to me. You think so? Yeah. yeah. I didn't I didn't watch so much of it, so it, you all you, you didn't, I didn't, miss, I didn't miss much. You didn't you didn't miss much. But yeah, uh, I um I read an article tonight and Erica Jane was saying that she wished that the crystal that she hangs out with and sees off camera would show up on camera because she said crystal's actually a lot of fun but she is so consumed with you know making sure that everything she does and says is perfect way too woke i'm just gonna say it i'm yeah. sorry yeah she is i can't I would do hate it. to be her friend i can't you can't talk about anything in front of her you can't even say oh i like that song oh that's bill Cop that's michael jackson yeah oh. yeah no no well it was Mike, or, or was it R. Kelly? Was, was it one of the like, Michael uh, Jackson? Yeah, Michael Jackson. When they were in uh, Colorado, and Kathy requested a Michael Jackson song, and she was like, "Oh, it's just too if much. I have to explain to you why that's wrong, imagine it's too much. Like she's too <laughs> worried about being proper and correct. But there, the things that she's worried about are not even proper and correct. Like cut the crap. Just be normal. Be yourself." Well, they all want to keep their diamond, so there's that. You yeah, know? well, I, I, was, I you know, got first share. To be honest and with basically, you. Like, oh, like, yeah, basically, Erica alluded to the fact of, uh, you know, like she's trying. If she wants to keep her diamond, then she needs to bring this off-camera person on. I don't know. Can we talk about, like, you know, Kyle's white party for one second? We haven't done any recaps on Beverly Hills. Today. A lot of stuff was happening. But, you know, Kyle's white party, you know, on, it's at the stadium, great. Uh, but then she has, like, Erica Jane as, like, the special performer. Like, if Erica I'm... Jane came out with her lip syncing, like, oh, boy. it's expensive to be me. Like, I'd be like, really? Like, that's the best. See, I think she did that because she was starting her residency. And it was kind of like a... Hey, oh, no, helped her. Yeah. yeah, like, hey, you know, I'll do this for you because I'm sure she didn't have to pay her much. And even Denise Richards was like, you know, oh, what, that they pay people residencies for them to lip sync. <laughs> well, here's the thing. They don't. Kyle didn't pay her at all. It's like they don't pay to do that. That's free publicity. <laughs> Did you read Betty Boo's comment? <laughs> Please be careful, Brooklyn. You might be insulting Crystal's Asian culture. <laughs> oh, you be God. Yeah, I would like, just like I think would be exhausted ever, being her friend if she was. It would be too much. I'd have like, to watch. Imagine the way I talk. 
Wait, what? Yeah, the way I be... talk around Crystal, forget it. <laughs> but who has like an Erica Jane CD or like a, a song on there? Like, you know. Uh... I'm so glad you brought that up. Who? I'm I... so glad you brought that up. I struggle with understanding who's buying these tickets because <laughs> I don't get it. Well, somebody said, I forgot who, like, the, the tickets, like, were $7 a ticket. Well, here's the deal. I understand now because she's been on the show. But when they first showed her, they said that she had records all over and sales all over. And I'm like, uh, is this a joke? Like, who was listening to her before? I think she's got, like, I a... was never, I never heard her name before. Yeah. I think that she has a very specific... Like Play her playing. in game clubs, and that's it. Yeah. What, what do you want? Like, I don't know. Like, no one's ever heard an Erica Jane song on the radio, for, like, unless they're making fun of her. Like, I don't know. But I've yeah. never heard you know, she, she's in the mainstream. You know, and I think she's, like, in the techno, electric, music, and... A gay club music. That's what yeah. Um, Sorry, that's how that works. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't. No, I, I, I listen. I'm just wondering what genre knows her because none that I know know her or knew her. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't. You know, if I were in Vegas, would I pay fifty bucks to see her? No. No. Uh, <laughs> now that she's on the show, but before I would never have. Had. If they, if she was in Vegas and I was walking like well, you know when you're in the casinos and like the halls like with like the photos of the people oh come in to, and, and listen to Erica Jane sing I'd be like eh and I mean it, where was her residency I even it, I would keep walking by it as a housewife fan I would walk right by it I'm like where are my slots that's why I'm that's why oh I'm yes here. I was just thinking that I'd be like well I wouldn't walk past it because I'd be on a slot. <laughs> If there's slots in there and Erica's playing, then I'll then I'll could do it. Like if Erica's like you know walking like through if I can get a good seat real, because of her, like, where real fortune is, and she's like, it's expensive to be me. Um, did you want to toast almond drinks, soda, anything? <laughs> that's it's that's expensive about to it. Be me. Like that, like that's that. Then that'd be okay, right? Like you know, I guess. Like, you know, I mean, I still wouldn't want to hear the music because then I can't hear my machine. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like the music was that where the residency was. Where was the residency, Wicked? I'm trying to find it. Um, it was at 203 Dupont Avenue, Seaside Heights. That's where it was. <laughs> <laughs> she was here. It was great. Um, lots of great. Did feedback. she? Pull, but did she pull um, a crowd? Did she pull a crowd? Um, well, you know, I'm, 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 you know, me and Cody and three cats. Like, I, I don't want to say that's nothing. Uh, <laughs> it's not uh, nothing. It's not nothing. So, but, you know, and her residency was like, I think, like, what, like, less than. It was only like shows. eight weeks. Yeah. Um, I just couldn't imagine. Like, you know, and it was only like on the weekends. It was like eight weeks. So it's very specific. I mean, you Lainey, residency, you think like Lainey, so, you don't you need know. a following for residency, Lainey. I feel like she got the residency because she's on the housewives. Right. They're hoping that that is what packs that packs it out. But well, she didn't which get it. Casino had it. Which I mean, did she get the residency at Caesars? I, I mean, like, no. you know, is it like something like that. It was select weekends at the House of Blues inside Mandalay Bay through December the 16th. Mandalay Bay has been like like a casino for like what like a hundred years. And the House of Blues inside there is not big. And I mean, this it's was November the fifth. No, I mean no, it was only like eight weeks, and on the weekends, not like the Cosmopolitan, like or like you know, not one of these newer like you know casinos or the Hard Rock or whatever. It's at the Mandalay Bay, like where like you know Johnny Cash used to play. Like you know, it's just not like a yeah, I know. Like well, you know, you consider Vegas like Adele Vegas. has a residency. Yeah, very different. <laughs> very different. Yeah, Christine I like Rebecca. Aguilera, Garth Brooks. Can I just tell you, I like, I agree, Betty Boo. I don't like that song. I don't like the words. I don't like the connotation. And I certainly didn't like 
her like on the couch, spread eagle and all that crap. It's it's just listen, I have nothing against her. I actually like her on the show. I just don't care for her music. And if you if I'm being honest, I know I'm gonna sound old fashioned. I don't care for her having to be naked and the dominatrix look and the yeah, boy I, slaves on the floor and the chokers around the necks. It's not me. So I just don't like it. That's it. But she's also like, how old is Erica now? Fifty what? In her fifties. So, like, you know, she's doing stuff like that Britney Spears did, like, you know, back in, like, 2002. And yeah. honestly, Sherry, Sherry uh, Sapphire, I think DJ Paulie D has a bigger residency. Obviously. He's a DJ. He used to yeah. pack out Atlantic City. You think residency, you think Celine Dion, you think Mariah Carey, you think Wayne Yeah, Newton? Keith Urban, he, of course he would have one. He's way bigger. Oh, you know, Shade. Shade went huh? there with the Groupon. What? Shade said is her tickets on Groupon. <laughs> I think I heard that they were. Nobody would know who she is. If if you don't watch Housewives, good luck. That's it. Right. Like, nobody's going to know who Eric. Oh, come check out our, our Erica Jane residency. Like, when you're walking by, like, the, you know, on the floor, like, next, like, you know, like, where you, you get your card upgraded and all that shit. Uh, and you see Erica Jane residency. And if you don't watch Beverly Hills. Right. Who the hell knows? I have a question because this season I really didn't watch. I'm not going to lie. I, I just didn't. But um, I don't know what happened to me. You know, I think I, I think during COVID and COVID being so serious and then watching the housewives, I dwindled out a little bit. You know, life is precious and watching them fight about the same thing for 15 years in a row and they're getting richer and richer and the problems are so stupid. Like, I just feel like I tuned out a little bit. But um, I didn't watch the season, but I saw a clip of her sitting with the victims. How did that go? Okay, so that is also, I think that's on Hulu. Yeah, she and, had a very good attitude when she sat with them, from what I saw. Yeah, and... Is that the bet on blonde thing? No, no, no. She actually, this was, Hulu she did, was like, like the expose, was, the... Yeah, she said something like, I really haven't looked into you guys. I don't know too much about it. Yeah, really? the Hustler and the Housewife. This is the Hustler and the Housewife Part 2, where she sits down with the victims. Yes, yes. I don't and... know. I can't watch it. Well, John, she sits at the table and there's the victim, three of the victims and one of the victims advocate. And she's like, listen, I really don't know much. I haven't researched you guys. And, you know, like very, very cold. And I, I mean, yeah, I, don't I mean, it. and that's supposed to make the victims feel better. Listen, I don't want to say because I did not watch the whole thing. It could have gotten better. I do not know if anybody watched it. Please let me know. But from what I saw in the clip, I was like, what? Yeah. Um, I find it hard to believe that her counsel would tell her to sit down. And at one point, I I see why, you know, okay, let's try to boost your, you know. Lisa your, Jones, thank you. Your oh. image. But, you know, let's be factual. She didn't do anything to the victims. It was Tom Girardi. Well, listen, I mean, I get it. Okay, listen, Wicked, I'm married 20 years, all right? I understand you cannot be responsible for everything your spouse does. A hundred percent with two different people. If my husband goes out today and, and kills somebody, whether it's an accident or on purpose, my life has changed forever, okay? Oh, yeah. If, if I, I, you know, you're married, you know the ins and outs of their business, you know the ins and outs of life, you know what, I just find it very hard to believe that she didn't know anything, number one. And number two, even if I did nothing wrong and my husband did all of it, I would still feel a horrible sense of guilt. And I would still feel the need to apologize immensely to everybody involved. Okay, but let me tell you, and maybe this is how my thinking is, my father took care 100% of the finances like my mom if my my mom wanted money and that was very know, for approximately older yes. but when my dad passed my brother took over the finances and he was like okay mom this is how much money you have and she was like are you kidding and i get that like, no i that happens often i totally get that but you're gonna tell me that if your mom found out god forbid that your father stole 
from five families. Like, I'm just making a thing. Right, and, I understand. And your mother found out that these families went broke and your father swindled them to get all that money she found. You're going to tell me your mother wouldn't be like, oh, my God, and feel the need to to apologize on some level? I mean, come on. I, I don't but, know. But it's she can't apologize because then that gives the impression she could be of human. guilt. She could be human but, but and sit at that it, table and have some a, an empathy. But I, I think just her being married to Ch Tom Girardi and who Tom Girardi was, I think that she learned very quickly never to comment on anything. Listen, he I think Tom was very he controlling towards He could her. handle this so different. And the earring situation really is what made me look at her so differently. Like just the earrings in itself. Forget everything. It's, it's like, why did they pick the earrings? I mean, and, and to some extent, it's like, why did they would have had to go back and trace everything Tom ever bought for her to see? Well, I'm pretty where. sure they did. And I'm pretty sure that they they said several times that a lot of that yeah, money they were was funded. Very, there were a lot of independent examiners looking at everything. Yeah. And I and yeah. I believe that a lot of that money funded a lot of her music and her oh, yeah. videos and her lifestyle. So there you go. If I found out my husband did that and any of that money, you know, and I and I spent that money and somehow that money made it to me, I would feel awful. I'm just speaking yeah. for myself. You yeah, just I just, you know, I um exactly, I Mel B. I, I would feel the same. You know, huh. but then <coughs> oh god. Oh, I'm reading her. I just you know, I guess I, having dated a lawyer, I understand, like, her take on the situation. I mean, we're we, not saying that it's right or wrong, but. I'm just happy yeah. this is all over with, like, you know, and, like, they kept, like, you know, showing Kathy coming, like, you know. So we're going to see Kathy next week, even though they tease at this whole second reunion part. Like, why is she there? Like, well. Because Kathy was like, you know, a big part of like the last two seasons, and like, you know, obviously Kyle and Kathy had it out at the end of the last season. And now that I honestly believe the only reason why Kathy is there is because her and Mauricio are done, and Kathy's like, final fucking leap. There's That's a little basking and yep, gloating right. involved here. <laughs> and again, allegedly, but Mauricio took all of Rick's big clients and started yeah. an agency with that. And that's yeah. why Kyle and Kathy didn't speak for years. So I know, you know, Kathy's a smart woman. She oh, may not come yeah. off like it when she's like walking around with her slippers in the airport and stuff like that. But Kathy is a smart yeah. woman. Did you all watch uh, Paris in Love? Or they're also on Peacock. I watched Paris in Love, but I kind of got bored with it. Like, I was hoping for like more of like the um, like uh, the Simple Life when she was like on the show with Nicole. And uh, hey, Johnny Mac. Hi, Johnny um, Mac. Like you know, I, I try. I gave it a try because I, I do love Paris, but it it didn't do anything for me. So. Like on I, her second season, where she's you know pregnant with a baby, I got a totally different impression of Kathy and I do I not care for her at all. You know what, Wicked? I'm debating right now in my head if I should even comment on that show because the way I felt about Paris and and having the kids and everything, I don't even know if it's right to comment on it. Well, you, I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings. No, not your feelings. I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I just... I just don't get it. Um, I know that she says that she couldn't have her own children because she was petrified of giving birth and she has a lot of anxiety from being put in that school and being abused and stuff. But just like the disconnect, like the disconnect when that baby was born and I don't know, as a mom, it was just so weird to watch. It's like when my, I had a C-section, I was 24 years old. When I had uh, 20, no, 22 when I had my first. And I can't even explain to you when 
when he was taken out of me and they show you your baby and the way you feel like, I don't know, some mothers don't feel that right away. Some mothers deal with postpartum and issues, but the way I felt like seeing my baby and the, 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 the amount of love you have in that very moment, it's so overwhelming. Like it's literally like somebody took your heart out and, and put it on your lap. It's crazy as a mom. And I just watching her and watching her babies be born. And the whole thing was so weird to me. And that's why I feel bad commenting on it. People might not understand how, what I'm trying to say. And I don't no, want to I understand, it. you know, was, I've never been pregnant. So, but you know, people are like, you know, you forget all about all the, the pain and the anxiety and everything, you know, the moment that that child's put in your yeah. arms, you're yeah. like, you do yeah. and all of that is just a distant memory and it was like she says oh well I, you know i wanted a baby and everybody at mom's party was like oh just get a surrogate just like it's like if you have money now you could just buy a baby get a surrogate and then she has one doesn't tell her family the mother shows up and she shows it to the mother like a handbag and oh. then <laughs> like, i think i want another one and then all of a sudden boom she's got a girl like it's just like the whole process of like I, I just feel bad for the millions of women in America. And in my business, I have women in my chair every day. And I'm watching what they're going through. I had one today. They are going through such torture, giving themselves injections, paying money they don't have. You know, in vitro is like a hundred grand and not all insurance covers yeah. it. They have to give themselves injections. Their hormones are all over the place. They're sick all the time. And then they have to, you know, harvest the egg and, then half the time it doesn't make it and they get disappointed and they're sad. And it's such a horrible journey to carry one baby. And she just like gets a baby like a handbag. Yeah. You know, my uh, cousin's niece um, had to go through in vitro and, you know, she was like, it was, a, you know, she's probably like a one and done, not to put it like that, but, you know, she was just like, it was so expensive that, you know, and they had to go through a couple rounds of it. So it's, you know, torture. she's like, you know, they've got their one child and they're done. And it's you know, torture. Brooklyn, do you see, do you a miracle. What, honey? Do you see, uh, Nisi Pineapple's comments here? A million percent. Yeah. Thank you, Pineapple. Like, here's the thing. It, you don't want to say these things because you don't want to offend anybody, but I'm watching it. And I'm like, what is going on in our world? Like, what? I know their life is so different than ours. I know they're millionaires. I know, I get it. I, I don't get it, but I get it. But the whole thing of having a child and bringing this miracle into the world, then, you know, she takes pictures of their son and people make fun of his head. So she puts a hat on the kid and now the, hat, the kid has a hat all the time. Like he's an accessory. That's a baby. That's a human life. Well, don't forget, like, you know, and I hate to make this, oh my God, I, but you know, Nicole, Jesus, Paris always had her dog, right, never mind. I'll say it you, for you. When you said accessory, kind of struck with I'll me. say it for you. She, she's more, when you see her with her dogs, she's more motherly than when you see her with her children. For me, I love Paris when she was like trying to work at Burger King and getting an F minus minus. Like I, I, I thought that was like good TV. Like again, yeah, that's going back like twenty years ago when Hoops and Flavor of Love was still <laughs> like, like, like you know the golden yeah. age of reality TV when like it was just like mostly raw footage and you saw it and you knew it was real and it wasn't edited. And it was Stop just fantastic. But like, it's just like, Wicked, you see, you said before, like, you're not a mom. You don't mm -hmm. even need to be a mom. You are so tight with your nieces and nephews. Like, yeah. you are so tight with them. Like, yeah, I would, it's the same I would lay down my life for them. Thank you. So it's the same kind of thing. And I'm sure you were like that with them from birth. From the yeah. minute that they came out, you were like that with them. Yeah. It doesn't, it's just a, a relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember the day I graduated from college, my oldest niece, she was like three or four. She wanted to drive down with us in our car because we were 
you know, we had to drive to Lexington to graduate from UK. And she just was like, you know, where's Aunt Karen? Why can't I be with Aunt Karen? And it's my parents, that's right. <laughs> my parents were situated close enough to where, you know, they walked me, I walked across the stage. And then when I walked out, I turned around and my dad was like, she wants you. So they're literally passing uh, H through the crowd so that mm -hmm. I could walk out. And people are like, you know, she's just like, oh. And she that's like, you. Karen, why can't I be with you? I'm like, you. I walk off the stage. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica, for the cash app. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Thank that's you, okay. Jessica. But I'm just saying, Wicked, you know that feeling. Yeah. Do you know that's it? Yeah, I would. I and you know, I've got five godsons. Yeah. I would I would take a bullet for any of them. Yeah. It's just weird. If you watch it, I don't know if you watched it, Wicked. But if you do watch it, think about what I said. And I will. Like, I yeah. only saw bits and parts of it. And it was just kind of odd. Like, I was turned off by Kathy. So I'll have to. Um, well, if you were, well, if you were turned off by Kathy, you just wait to see how turned off, off, <laughs> off you are by Paris. I'll have to watch it. I can't wait. Crazy. Yeah, I can't watch that show. I, it's, it's there on Peacock. And I just... I. We tried, and I'm like, oh, it's a know. rough watch. Can't do it. Yeah, I, Nikki. I, I, Nikki said it best. Their sense of reality is just so warped yeah. and different. You know, I kind of like Honey Boo Boo. Boo. I can never that, that watch more than the commercials. <laughs> rough. I might get a lot of slack for this, but I do love watching Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> oh, that, I that, do. That, that. That is the fakest show on all of reality. Oh, it's mm -hmm. it's so fake, but I have to say they have yeah, funny cue cards. Like you ever notice, like they can't even like get their lines to like, oh, I, it's like watching the nanny. I, I mean, gotta tell so you though, bad. John, it's funny. They are funny. The sister with that that raises her now, her and her husband are so funny naturally. I get a kick out of it. Right, Mel B? I love so it. This is Mama June. This isn't like the original Honey Boo Boo. No, this is not. This is not Mama June. Mama June is like barely in their lives because she's trying to come back after what she did. This is like the sister raising Honey Boo Boo and all her okay. kids. Unfortunately, as so sad, Anna just passed away recently Aww. with her battle with cancer. So young. So, Are they so still young. making this the, the sketty? They, they, John, it's funny. I can't explain it to you. The way they talk, the way they do things, they're just naturally funny. Like, they're so rough that you can't help but laugh. Mm. And I love, if for you guys that watch it, how much do you love, uh, what's her name, Pumpkin? Her husband. Is her name Pumpkin? I can't remember. No, the one that's married that has guardianship of, of, of Honey Boo Boo. The husband is the nicest guy. He's like super yeah, normal. Pumpkin and I don't, I mean, why don't these Josh, people? Josh, I think his name is Josh. Josh. Josh is the nicest guy and he's such a good dad and he's so good to, to Honey Boo Boo. Mama June, I oh can't stand. Shay, you know, it, it is it is so incredibly <laughs> fake. I mean, there, there is not an ounce of realness to that show. And like, it, is Gina Rodriguez still on it? <laughs> I, I can't do it. It, it is so completely fake and overshot. I mean, it, it just, there's no, there's not jo one yeah, genuine yeah, Josh, show, yeah, right. show. There isn't. Okay, but see what Suzanne said? I am from South Georgia and they act like 85% of my relatives. Thank you, Suzanne. It, that's, <laughs> it's funny. Who was Gina, John? Gina Rodriguez was on the original show with um, uh, uh, Mama June, like Mama June, like from Hot to Not. Like Gina was like her friend slash agent. Yeah, but who is Gina? Is oh, yeah. Gina is a former um, adult star who turned um, celebrity talent agent and. I believe oh. that Gina is uh, Angela's agent. Um, no way. Yeah, no, Gina Gina has been um, oh, attached to a lot of reality TV people as their agent. And uh, their yeah, Mama June fired her. Huh? Mama June fired her. Oh, wow. Well, Mama June was high and coked out.
at the time. <laughs> oh, well, listen, I, I, I have nothing good to say about Gina. So there's that. So I'm okay. Really okay. Gina also hired Danielle Javali as one of her clients. And then um, she tr actually, if you want to hear some tea, um, it's not really tea if you've been around for as long as I've been, but uh, maybe seven, eight years ago, 2017, 2018, uh, Gina had signed Danielle Jabali to be like, you know, she, the original thing was, uh, she was going to make, she was going to give, uh, Danielle the same, like, you know, treatment that Angela got, like, you know, the surgery, like, the you know, she, from hot to not like the same thing that Mama June got. Right. Okay. And, um, when you know when she she had signed Danielle, Danielle was like you know the star of Night and Fiance. It was, it was before Angela had her time in the sun, and Danielle was like the big figure. And and Gina saw that she could turn Danielle into. You remember that show, The Swan, on Fox? All yeah, yes. of course. Yeah. So so Gina was going to turn Danielle into the Swan, and then uh, nobody picked it up because uh, for. Well, I'm going to leave that out. But, and then Gina dropped Danielle. And then Gina, um, a few years afterwards, moved on to Angela to do the same thing. Wow. Mama June. Interesting. Wow. Oh, really, Suzanne? They live a mile from you? Yeah. Oh, Suzanne was saying that TLC is just rude and they shut down everything when... They come to town to film. <laughs> I know people keep asking me about Angela. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not, 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 not trying to be short with anybody. Um, I know MWS too. Yeah, like, I don't know what to say. She's dealing with it. You know? Uh, other than that, you know, Angela is going to do what, you know, she's talking to people and attorneys and stuff like that. And, so, I mean, I don't know what more I can say about Angela other than that she's pretty much in the same position she was when we left her. Yeah, I don't think she's much upset. is going to change now. Yeah, she's upset, she's hurt, and she's trying to vindicate herself. So, um, and she's, and, and as John knows, and I've told him, and he, you guys have told him, she doesn't look good in the public eye right now. I, I can't believe how yeah, many no. people, you know, have decided that um, Michael's justified in doing what he's done. So, you know, that just stinks. I can't believe how many people are coming down on me for it. <laughs> like, are, I, just, I know. I cannot believe how many people are coming down on me for it. I know. I just, you know, um, I'm kind of bit like she had held the divorce papers over his head for so long. That you know what? I'm glad you said that. Because well, I feel like, like, like the biggest question. The biggest question people have from reading the blogs and reading the comments is, and you know, she said it herself. Why didn't you trust your John, guts? When she was standing next to John, she said straight up, it's not his fault, it's mine. And people are like, yeah, it is. Because if you knew all this bad stuff about him, why'd you bring him here? Right. It just, you know, that's like, the thing. just, you know, life lesson, trust your gut. Yeah, I just trust your gut. Still, why, if, if, you know, obviously, like, you know, Michael has a lot of support, right? And the, the common argument is that, oh, we've seen Michael suffer for, for years and years and years and years. So then why the fuck did he come here? Right. Did he think why it was going to get better? Exactly. The two of them, <laughs> it's obvious the two of them had their own personal interests. You know, they're on a show and that's it. He wanted to come to America. Is what it is. He had every, I mean, he was in Nigeria, like a million miles away from Angela. If he wanted to get away from Angela, then he'd say like, I'm done. And he'd be in Nigeria and she'd be here in Georgia. Right. That would be it. So like, you know, to all the people who keep saying, I feel bad for Michael, look what he went through. But he kept putting himself in that same position for what? Right. To get here and leave? Nikki. I personally think that Michael kind of high this like aloof 
TV persona. And I don't think we knew some of the stuff that went down. I mean, well, we know like how John an showed it. You know, I I think that, you know, I mean, he cheated on her repeatedly. Well, and I played that on my members live. I'm right. Uh, Nikki, I'm, Nikki I'm just little... asked, what bad stuff did he do? Well, Nikki, he cheated on her repeatedly. We have yeah. proof of that. He was scamming. He was doing crappy stuff. He was involved in some crappy things. He just yeah. wanted to get Angela's to this country. And yeah. I just, I feel oh. like he crafted this TV persona to where it's kind of goofy. Oh, I love you. Da, 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 da. And, you know, so. He was cheating on her yeah. while she was there filming for their wedding. He was talking to another girl the well, whole time. Like she was there. That's what I played on my members live the other night. Like no He's one laying in bed next stuff. to her texting another woman. Yeah, I mean, you know. Davi, I mean, what's his end game? His end game is getting to America and never going back to Nigeria. The minute he got on American soil, that was it. That was his end game. Yeah. And again, Angela is no saint by any means. Like, you know, and, and we, well, watched, we know that we watched her on TV. We saw the fights. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, Angela is a saint. She's mother Teresa. She never yelled or, or acted on, you know. Why uh, do you guys think he dealt with the stuff that happened with her? Listen, sometimes I would watch it my sh myself and be like, why is he allowing her to do that or say that? I didn't know the backstory. I didn't know all the crap she had on him. I didn't know why she was acting like that. But even still, he put seven years into it. He wasn't letting go. He was getting here. Here, I'll play this clip here. Just to give you an idea of what I played at my members live. Yeah, we'll give you guys a taste of it. Hold on. You could all hear now a little bit of Michael cheating. Uh, hold on. John's going to give it up for free. Might as well. Might as well. Wait anyway. That's the world now. What uh, is mention it all? Mention it all. Sorry, Bethany. Uh, hold on. Here we go. All right. So this is Michael talking to um, a whore while Angela's there in Nigeria with him. Well, wow. right next to him. Right next to him. Sleeping right next to him. That's a town. That's got me. Okay. I'm trying to call you now. You're not picking up. I've been busy filming, trying to sort things, things out. Okay? Just trust me, please. Also, we'll have some money coming to your side. I will let you wow. know. I'll call you, please. I love you, and I miss you. Mm -hmm. Is Michael still the angel that everyone wants to, wants him, wants to paint him as? And he, John also has a slew of text messages mm -hmm. that he is texting her from 6 30 oh and i have a slew of other voice recordings too from wow. 6 30 in the morning until 8 30 at night continuously texting this girl while angela is right next to him and he says to the girl i'm filming i'm sorry she's gonna leave early okay how did Renee, get so then why didn't michael leave uh, they're asking how you got that. That was sent to John by the that girl he was cheating with. Remember when yeah. Angela was unhappily saying that my husband cheated on me and somebody sent me all the texts and recordings of it? That was me. Because the person that was sending these messages to Michael sent them to me in order to blow Michael and Angela out of the water. Oh, no, Dobby, that's okay. There's no specific topic. We're a little all over the place. Yeah, we're just and general chit-chat. Covering everything. And if you hear that recording being played anywhere else, they got it from me because I'm the only person on earth that has that recording. We have the binder. Nikki, you didn't do anything. You're good, girl. I, yeah, no, no. you're fine. I had the binder. No, I, I, I just, um, I think she's referring to you know, the, the stuff about Angela. I mean, you know, oh, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, it just, anything. whatever he can answer, he will. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all good. No worries. You're good. Yeah. All good. Michael was so put upon. He was, so, he was harassed. He was harassed. He was, he was, 
threatened. He was bullied by Angela for what? We watched him on, for seven years now, but he still kept with it. Yeah. The only thing I truly didn't like was the whole, I'm an American. Oh, oh fuck. Sorry, didn't mean to curse. Um, I'll just, play again. Just because, you know, it's like people have such a, you know, horrible impression of, you know, the Americans anyway. And I was just like, whoo, shoo wee. Uh, no, guys. You, Nikki and ba and Dobie, you guys are fine. The, yeah, the, the, no. topic, the topic changes all the time when I'm on this panel, right, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times I derail the topic? We're all good. We love talking about everything. Yeah, I don't think, uh, even when we have a topic, we don't <laughs> we we get derailed. We derail the topic <laughs> constantly. There was some text between Michael and the other woman while, he, while she was in Nigeria, you know, next to him. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, but you tell me. And here's here's the audio yeah, again. True. So if you guys can't see, it says you don't want to respond. Question mark. Hello. You don't want to talk to me, babe. Are you ignoring me? Really? The girl says, "Sorry, I'm here. Why are you not responding? I even asked you to email me, and you." Oh, we lost her. Oh, mid mid reading. Hold on. Well, while we're waiting for her to get back, I'll, I'll replay this. Daddy, try to understand me, okay? I'm trying to call you now, you're not picking up. I've been busy filming, trying to sort things out, okay? Just trust me, please. Also, we have some money coming to your side. I'll let you know, okay? I'll call you, please. I love you, man. I miss you. And he's already stating on this that he's hoarding money to the side. Yeah, he's got to send her money. Is she oh, no, backstage? Oh, Betty. Shit, is she, she backstage she, yet? Yeah, she is. Hold on. Okay. This is, I suck. No, we, <laughs> we don't want her hanging out for 10 yeah. minutes like there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think it was the weather. <laughs> Blame it on the weather. But... Um, so you were, you were halfway through reading it. I don't know if you want to. Okay. So then the girl up. said, sorry, I'm here. He says, why are you not responding? I even asked you to email me. You didn't. The girl said, sorry, I didn't want to cause trouble with Angela there. Just wanted to let you figure it out today. He and says, even the, the Butana is saying, I don't want to cause trouble with, with Angela there. Yeah. Okay. He says, we still fighting, asking me to take down Instagram. She's mad at me. Want to leave back to the States tomorrow, which I'm not sure yet. Yeah, you guys need to figure everything out. Imagine. Let me pull, let me pull the next one. Hold on. Um... So <laughs> he said, he, he texts continuously. Just letting you know, though, I'm not leaving you, babe, okay? I'm serious. She's saying she will leave me, etc. When I'm totally available, I'll update you more. The camera crew is still here, okay? Miss you. I'll message you, okay? Hey, babe, I'm filming, hon. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Have some things to discuss with you, okay? Miss you. All and while Angela is standing Angela next to him. Gets mad the way she does. And again, I am not trying to, like, you know, say that Angela is a saint. I am and for the record, yes, John gets it, Angela's permission to put these out. I know somebody mentioned that the I other don't night. need, an no, 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 no. I don't need Angela's permission for any of this shit. I got, I got this before Angela ever saw them. I was the one that gave this to Angela. I'm my own person, and I will show these if I want to. Go, you um, go, yeah, you go, John Yates. No, no, I don't need, I don't need no one's permission. I, I got this. I could have made a lot of money off these texts and things two years ago when I got them. I, I threw That's it, right. swept it under the rug. Okay. So, but I don't need anyone's, I don't need anyone's permission. This is my, my property. And I That's got right. it. So there it is. And you know what? I think after this live is over, I'm going to post these on IG so people can see. Because I'm tired of people saying, oh, Angela, Angela, Angela. Yeah, was, Angela, right. was Angela not a great person? Absolutely. But, you know, there's more to the story than what's being portrayed here. And that's yeah. why that's why I take up for Angela. Because, you know, there's more to it. what goes on. 
But I don't need Angela's permission at all to show this. So right. there it is. That's my boy. And I mean, you could have very easily so made a fortune, but chose friendship. Buko bucks off this. Hey, Tony. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you chose to keep your friendship versus right. making a profit. I held on to this for years. You know, and they say, oh, I, oh, like, you know, a couple of YouTubers saying, oh, John went down there to get to scoop the story. No, you, like, you story. have no idea what I have and what I don't have and what I've shared and what I haven't shared. You had, this, you had the story way before anybody else even found out, even before. Andrew and they're pissed because now I'm show, I'm bringing this to light where like, you know, everyone's down Angela's throat. So. Well, I mean, you could have very easily did the same thing from the comfort of DuPont Avenue. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, um, I, and I still have two more tires on my car, a computer, more money in my bank uh, than than any of this. Right. I, I was down there because I cared, and she and she was she's my friend, and I was worried. That's it. <laughs> so on top of this, on top of John having text messages, voicemails, Angela also found out his friends are scammers. They scam American people. She found out that a lot of them are shady as anything. I mean, there's a lot more to it, guys. A lot. Yeah. I mean, I think 100% he was definitely, I don't know if groomed is the right word, but he was definitely guided on oh, what to do and how to do it. Mom. And when he got here and when he got here, he was the plan. Um, I think he's a piece of shit for leaving the child alone. Oh, yes. And oh, I yes. was, I won't say on his side. I was trying to defend maybe-ish him. I like, agree you know, with it. I think we all were because we didn't yeah. know the backstory. We would just yeah. see Angela and, being you know, crazy. When he was missing, we didn't know what happened. And I'm like, okay, things are different in Nigeria. Maybe he doesn't understand right. the magnitude of leaving a child at home. But now he doesn't care. A child that just got out of the hospital for a brain yeah, tumor. Exactly. I don't think anybody, like, you know, he's 35 years old. I, I can't use an excuse on him. I'm sorry that he didn't think that leaving a child with who just got out of the hospital with brain tumors and almost died. Imagine that. Was, I mean, was like, oh, okay, you know what? Screw well, it. But, but I mean, when he left, he had no idea. You know, what if Angela went to the mall or. That's what I said. What if she got or, a flat tire? Right. What if she's been arrested? But what Wicked is saying, I do understand because in his country, they children they don't watch. I mean, I don't think like they that. require they the Percy to take on. your kid home from the hospital. They run the streets. And again, if Michael was so goddamn worried, then all he had to do when he when he left because, like you know, Angela forgot to unlock him inside the house. There are so many ways to get out of that goddamn house. Like, you know, it, it's it's a joke for them to even say that. that. All these people who have, like, none of these people have ever been even inside Angela's house or know it like yeah, we do. Don't know. Like, you know, you're listening to a bunch of liars and uh, scammers who just, like, want to paint it in the worst way possible. It, it's insane. Well, and at the end of the day, I do agree with MW is me. Because, honestly... They're both they crazy. Toxic. They're both toxic. Yeah, I agree. But well, I told them both before you even came here. I'm like, you're idiots. For, for yep, me. I agree. I told them both to their faces. I'm like, you guys are idiots. For, they don't belong for, together. For, it's never going to work. Yeah. But, but now the public sees. And then I have videos of Michael having a good old time with them, like, you know, barbecuing and whatever. Um, but whatever, it's it is what it like is. He was like, yeah. oh, so fearful. He sh if he was that worried, he could have went right to the police, right? And the police would never have brought him back there. Exactly. If he was saying he's in so fear of his life, he can't he go back there, then place. that's it. So then I never had to go to Georgia for this because it wouldn't have been a missing person, it would have been just he left, he's afraid to come home, and that's that. But no, it took me, it took him leaving on Friday for me to drive uh, 13 hours to get to Georgia because, you know, people are timing my trips. Um, <laughs> and, you know, me doing a live for him, oh, hobbies. like, you know, come out of the bush and say, oh, I'm not missing. 
Like, this is what's up. W why didn't you say that from jump if that was the case? Because uh, I Cause it was planned. Because if you think me going down to Georgia last week was a vacation, it was the opposite of that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. When people go on vacations, they they feel fulfilled. I, I, I went there and I lost. And I'm still losing from it. So whatever. It's John, okay. Betty Boo has a good question that you answered the other night. Can you answer it again, please? If so, if Angela does support him, she will still be responsible. Yeah. yeah for I life, think, Betty Boo, for life. Yeah, I think Trump changed that. Now, law. according to her, what she said on the live, she didn't send in his paperwork. So there might be a chance that she's not. Again, I'm no immigration attorney or employee or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I think the reason why she's the way she is, because if she doesn't get this remedy, she will be on the hook for him for life. For life, not 10 years like it used That's to right. be for life. Wow. Yeah. So, and yes, Nikki, the goofballs that everybody loved and thought was so sweet were scammers who scam Americans. Yes. Yeah. And Angela found out what they did for a living. And she said it the other day, and that's why she hated them. And we felt bad, like, let him have his friends. You're not his mother. Meanwhile, they are scammers in Nigeria who scam Americans. So there's that. And Angela really did love him. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, to a certain extent, he loved her. I think for life, because now this show is on TV, Nikki, and, and it's very popular. And like, you know, how many marriages are working out because of the show? I would say a small handful of people. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you I mean, I would think that she would like hopefully fight his green card, but that's, but that's, I mean, Andre just finally got his green card. No, I think he got citizenship, didn't he? Yeah, he, he just now got his citizenship. Well, he's a citizen now, so he doesn't even need a green card anymore. He's a citizen. Well, no, was it a green card or a citizenship? I think citizenship. Now he has a citizenship. Yeah. Okay. Which, I mean, he was afraid of not getting it because yeah. I guess of what happened in um, wherever he lived. Moldova. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, Angela's no angel. And they certainly had their share of fights over the air for like the last seven seasons that we've been watching them. But again, I, I just can't understand the people who are saying like, you know, look what Michael went through. Look what Michael went oh. through. And then, and, then he, and then we see seven years of Michael going through crap when he's in Nigeria, safe in his own little country That's over right. there, free from Angela, right? And so Michael's sitting here in Nigeria, Free, you know, he has to deal with Angela when he when she comes, like maybe a week or two, once a year for seven years. It's it's not that much <laughs> for a, for a couple weeks. Right? He's got to suck it up, <laughs> and, and then um, he sucks it up, and then the the the, the second he gets here because he's playing the long game, uh, he gets here and he leaves. And I'm sorry, I will not think any other way. It's well, hold on a second, because, but it's not because I'm friends with Angela or I care about her is because I'm a human fucking being with two eyes and a fucking brain. And it doesn't make sense any other way to me. Well, guys, I am not friends with Angela. <laughs> Obviously, you all know that. <laughs> and there's no love loss there. However, I feel the same way as John. Yeah, I, I give him credit, though. He played the long game. He did. He put his time in. And that's what the Nigerians do. They play the long really game. You, you know yeah. what really stinks? I agree. A lot of the bloggers, that. like the one that talked bad about John, a lot of them are saying, well, even if he was scamming her, he deserves to be a citizen now. He put his time in. And I, these are I, American citizens. These saying, are American like citizens. the craziest part of the whole goddamn thing. I have to tell you, that really bothers me that yeah. any American would say that. I have people in my family that fought for this country. I know people yeah. that lost their lives for this country. And any American that says it's okay to scam us because he put his time in with a crazy person. No, it's not okay to ever scam us. You come here for love or you don't come here at all. 
And I mean, it just, it makes the people who are marrying for love and the people who are exactly. doing it for the right reasons. I mean, as Pineapple says, look at uh, John and Rachel. I mean, That's John's right. still not here and he's, their case keeps getting delayed, delayed, delayed. Yeah, and because, you know, John was like a little, you know, a little too freewheeling back in the day and kind of got into a couple of fights and, jo and poor John, uh, still not here. You know, and I think of anybody who was on, I always put John and Rachel and Michael and Angela together because they were the two people on the, sh the two couples on the show that, that like, were, you know, like were really, realist. really doing like the long distance thing for all these years. So, and John's still not here. Yeah, he deserves to be here. I will never understand how they will not let John come here. It breaks my heart for her. Because John had violent, uh, when he was, like, when he was young. Yeah. I mean, who does? All right, M Dash had a question, but I don't see what it was. What Mel B? I'm sorry, I missed it. Yeah. So it, it's different, but since they already married, because of the man she was. No, they. So Michael didn't come here on a K one. Like it wasn't like a ninety day K one visa, because you know the the K one is when you come here as someone who's engaged. And the stipulation that after the 90 days, you'll get married. Angela and Michael were already married in Nigeria. So he came here on, a, on a, I think it's the K2, the spousal one. Um, so it had nothing, there's nothing to do with 90 days. Yeah, which John and Rachel did the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. They got married in England in hopes of bringing him here for whatever, the, the K2 or whatever it is. I'm I'm just so tired of it. Like, and I'm I'm going down with the goddamn ship. I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like you know, I I'm there for a friend, but like I I just don't understand these people. Just American citizens saying like, you know what? It's okay that Michael's here now. He's gonna he's gonna scam our country now. Like you know, Michael you know Michael does his homework, right? He's playing the, the Larissa card, which I said like you know Larissa yeah. is still here. Because of like the DV stuff. And like, you know, let's not forget. And I love Larissa and she's my buddy. And I'm not even trying to, sh to shade Larissa in any, but, but Larissa was the one arrested four times, not Colt. And right. she's still here. Right. That's the point. That's true, Joan. You know, th that's my point. And I'm not dogging Larissa. She's my buddy. She's been there for me. I love her. But like, you know, Larissa was the one that got met. That Larissa was the one arrested four times it was never cult you're right so i had to make that point if i'm being fair because people oh john never speaks you know uh about his friend or whatever well that, that's there you go no it's you're right okay it says k2 are for the children so i'm trying to find out what type of visa that it's called and look, Larissa is going to be on like House of Villains now. Good for her, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Larissa's mainstream now. She's going to be in House of Villains season two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Melissa, thank you. Thank you, Melissa. <gasps> what? Thank you, Melissa. Bye. Melissa, that is you. so sweet. You are such a great friend to Angela and amazing. Okay. You took my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> I... I... I don't have any instruments. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. I'm you guys tired of it. Like I can't sit here and listen because I'm getting all these messages. How's it? How's it taste? How's it feel? It taste Angela's clit. Like these are the messages I'm getting. Oh like, my god. Like, yeah. Like all the goddamn time. Like. Wow. You know, I I could have done that story with Angela from right here in my living room. Yes. And Angela could have been right next to me and it would have been the same thing. That's right. Except I'd still have a computer, two tires, and a lot more money in my account and uh, maybe less bags under my eyes. But we, we went, you know, and when Angela, to Angela's credit, when I was not doing well in um, October because of uh, court stuff that I had going on, Angela came to my house. That's right. The only cast member to actually ever come to my house. That's right. Be here for me. So I'm going to be there for her when, like, she was there for me. I know it's hard for people to like Angela. I get that. And I know it's hard for people to like me. 
you know, uh, it is what it is. But, you know, she, what she's getting now from everybody, she doesn't deserve. No, I don't think so either. I mean, she deserves some of it, but like everyone's putting everything on Angela. Meanwhile, this guy was living in Nigeria. He could have told Angela the first season, you know what, Angela, this is a good fit. No, thanks. The second season, you know what, Angela, I tried it with you. I, I gave you a second chance. No, you know, I'm not happy. The third season, well, you know, three times a charm, Angela, and uh, this is it for me. I don't like the fighting. I don't like, you know, you yeah. yell. At You're me. a turd. Fourth time. Well, you know, we tried three times now, so let's try a fourth. And you, you know what? I'm, but how many how many outs are you going to give him? And then you still feel bad for him when when he comes here. Like it's it's crazy. And I feel like I'm crazy because I had to say this stuff out loud. It's like for me, like saying like, it was a sin that Garrison died. Like I had to explain this, like and 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 simplify it to idiots. <laughs> Like, I, I just don't understand it. I know. It amused me I when don't. people were like, my first language is in English, and I understood what he was saying. <laughs> I don't get it. John, I mean, people always want to find fault with you. You could say a syllable wrong, and they... Oh, I know. Sin. Lord. But, you know, those who love you, love you. And there are still people leaving nasty comments about me, about Garrison saying, well, when, when Garrison jo died, John Yates went live and said it was a sin. Can you imagine the, the nastiness that Katie Joy gets? Well, she, tell you what. she's in her own little bit of trouble right now because of what, Yeah, if, if those calls were warranted or I, I don't know, but um, you know, I yeah, we're moving on. But you know, I'll post these. I'll post like I'll post the three things because you know. And then, but it, it's it's annoying. It, it really is. You know, Angela. Is <laughs> exactly, life. Melissa. Exactly yes. what we were saying yesterday, Melissa. It has nothing <laughs> to do with it. Like it's you know not in the literal. Sin. And like to go back, like you know, my mother passed that way. Does anybody in their right mind would ever think that I would use sin in that context? That's assuming that most people are in their right, right. mind, which we know now they are not. I would never ever use sin in that context. Right. Ever. Yeah, um, never. But my mother had went up to my mother and like you know what I did to myself. Right. You know, people so, are goofy. That's it, a word for it. Wicked. It's wild to me <laughs> that, like, you know, and I, I'm so like, you know, a TikTok. John Yates called. You know, he reported on Garrison, and he said it was a sin, and John Yates should die. He's not letting the family heal. He's calling. You know, like, like I'm like a a a, a Bible thumper. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, are you? L yeah, like, Jesus just... Christ! I may be Catholic, but like you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It it, it just it, it's this has been probably like the craziest two weeks. So much has happened in these two weeks. Um, but I mean, get yourself a dictionary. Sin has more than one word or one meaning. And you know, I think. 80% of the people understood that, what I meant. You know, I have atheists in my comments saying, like, you know, I don't believe in God or sin, but I think John meant what a shame. Yeah. You know, and it's just people who want to, like, draw blood from a stone. The same people who want to say that Michael is so uh, innocent and, uh, you know, he only let himself get beat up by Angela and harassed by Angela for seven years so he can come here. Like, it's just stuff that bothers me. I think he made out on the deal. Of course he did. And now he's here. And he's never going to leave. He you know, will people, never leave. people are saying, oh, well, Angela made so much money. Well, she also supports her seven grandchildren and her children. Look at, look at what Fernanda did to Jonathan. Right. Fernanda pulled the same That's thing right. with Jonathan, saying that Jonathan abused her. Jonathan, the realtor. That's right. And, and Fernanda's still here. 
Renee, I think that you're one of many that probably got that probably yeah. got shocked. Yeah. That like John said, I don't know what's going on with that, but it's probably heavy. Yeah. And Lord, like I, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I know I broke the story, and I know um, I was there to answer. I, I, you know, I, I get people wanting me, to, you know, asking for me for updates. I, that's understandable. I'm not mad at anybody for that. But I, I just don't have, you know, I'm also getting buried by, you know, other people saying I had less than a genuine reasoning to go down there and cover it. I mean, I, how many times has Angela has been on a live with me via? Like just like now, like like you well, know, right next to me, like Wicked is right next. Like, first of all, I never needed to go down there. We were worried. She was crying. Like you know, we didn't she know where was he was. Crying. She was hysterical. And also, you are a friend to her, but you also are a blogger. So if you're breaking a story, why are you getting penalized for breaking a story? I don't understand that. Because with me, I'm in a weird area between casts and blogging. And I've been since Jump because I am friends with the cast. I do hang out with the cast in real time, in real life. We hang out. And then it skews, according to everybody, my uh, blogging skills. But, like, you know, I'm no CNN journalist. Like, you know. I don't claim to be either. Every every blogger on IG, whether you're you're blogging or or, or YouTube, or whether you're blogging about like uh, Housewives, Ninety Day, like look about all the real, um, all about the Real Housewives on um, IG, giant giant Instagram page. I think they have like three hundred thousand followers, and they kiss Teresa's ass. Everything they do is about Teresa, and they're biased. Of course, but Everyone's biased. But Everyone's do people? understand that your friendships allow you to get tea that no one else does i don't think they do and then i don't think what they also understand is that like you know with that tea like look at this stuff i have about michael in, in the recordings i've held on to that for two years like you know people say i will sell anybody out no i don't so yeah, like, why does anyone care where you go good point nisi well, they, 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 jealousy. the miles, be honest, jealousy. Well, hold on guys. Nisi, listen to me. I'm in this two years now. I can't even believe that. Well, a year and nine months on this YouTube world, but I didn't believe this when I first started. But when you say, why do people care? They literally calculate how long it should take him to get somewhere, how long uh, he should be in the car how many miles it should be from his house to that person's house. I know that sounds crazy. To this is all true. I, <laughs> listen to me. I am not lying. I'm not being funny or silly. I, I am telling you, I heard it myself recently. They calculate how much gas he should use, how much money the trip should cost him. It's, 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 I'm not lying. It's the truth. It's just preposterous. I don't know why. I'm not, I can't answer you as to why they care. I don't know. And I don't want to, you know, say, speculate why they care, but they do care. I mean, you know, if you fart, they. And anybody watching like those two lives with Angela, how many times did I told her to shut up? How right. many times did I mute her speaking? Yeah. I knew it would get her in trouble. And so then I they were getting mad at that. And they're mad at it because, you know, and as a blogger, like I, like I should just let her go crazy and say whatever she wants to say. But I know because I care about her because I consider her family that it will get her in trouble if she says stuff. Just like any other 98 Fiance cast member I've had on my show. Again. I know what, what to ask and what not to ask. Of course. But here's the thing. Again, the whole, the whole commentary on John going down there. John did not need to go down there. John no. broke that story from his couch. He could have had Angela on live. He could have broke it from his couch and never went anywhere. Ever. But we thought that Michael was missing. So we thought that like us being all together in the same room would be the best way to find him. And that was it. That was all. And uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. 
I mean, you know, at that point, I, there was a genuine concern that something had happened to him. And, you know, God forbid that it would have been something different. You know, at least she would have been there if MW, I'm not tragic had happened. I'm just letting you know I'm not making it up. I, I'm just telling you. It's everything I just said is true. I don't know either. I, I promise you I don't. I mean, what, what John does Suzanne, is why I can't imagine, imagine a day in the life of John Yates. I really, hmm. truly can't. Do you know what, Angela? Why would they do that? I do not have enough time in the day. Listen. Do you know what Angela? Uh, do, wait, do you know what Angela told me when we were there? She goes, John, if this is how you feel every second of every day, like I don't know how you do it. I'm like, well, now you understand. <laughs> yeah. It, it's with people always trying to just like come for your throat. It's not a good way to to feel or live or whatever. And that's why I've had my shares with what I went through and, um, but, uh, you know, I never had to go down there. I could have done an interview right here and it would have been over with, and I felt my computer. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not, I'm not hobbies. I was, I'm not, I don't take it back. I'm happy I went down there. Um, it's just so funny. Like when I get involved, you know, we got Paul to sneak out. And, uh, you know, now Michael. Uh-oh, he froze. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I can call me froze. I'm, but it is what it is. So, you know, as far as Angela goes. Uh-oh, he froze. I froze again. No, I. you're not frozen. I don't know. You know, yeah. it, it's a long, arduous Uh-oh. process. Uh-oh, he's gone the two of them. And, um, are you still with us, Brooklyn? Yeah, he's, I see him. He's talking. <laughs> you know, and it's, it, it's not going to be over anytime soon. No, not at all. So yeah, they're, they're all like, they're saying in the chat, my nerves couldn't take it. Somebody oh said I wouldn't have enough time in the day to calculate. So I know, and I wouldn't believe it either, but John, I've heard it. So, yeah, there's that. There was a live when they calculated the steps it took me to walk to 7 Eleven. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, Wicked. It's it's definitely Wicked's computer. Yeah. You know what, guys? The weather's bad everywhere. Maybe I'll come out, go out, and come back in. Okay. No. Two hours, huh? Yeah, we did a lot of talking tonight, and you guys got a lot of juicy stuff with those messages. No, you know, I'm going to post them on IG now because you know I'm kind of old. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tired of like you know. Oh, look at Michael. He's such a saint. Uh, I mean, he may be a saint, but he was in it for like the long haul. And in my being, if it were me. And she was shooting us badly. Like, I would not put up with it. And I certainly wouldn't move to her country, to the middle of nowhere, Georgia, to be even more miserable and isolated. You see Pineapple's comment? That's so true. I didn't think of that, Pineapple. If you would have broke the story from your house, then it would have been like, if he was a good friend, he would have went there. Yeah, yeah, because he can't win. Yeah, that's a good point. Can't win. So... You know, I, I just wicked you there. Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay good. Um, I don't know. Um, did I cover like all the stuff I want to cover tonight? And I have more to cover. Like you know, we kind of like you know lobbed everything into <laughs> which I don't like to do. But... I saw the commercial for Sister Wives today. Oh, I haven't seen it for Sister Wives. Yes, that's right. With Cody. Uh, with with what's his name Garrick and his wife they want oh, to post seeking the... sister wife too. oh seeking sister wife I'm sorry I'm sorry oh boy I'm sorry I messed yeah, up I was like yeah okay yeah that's starting soon and yeah. we're gonna have like a dynamic panel oh God, he really is got you guys you do not want to miss let me just say this coming from Brooklyn girl hot off the press <laughs> you do not want to miss 
John's coverage of Seeking Sister Wife because he has an excellent panel for that. Yes, and the, his panel right. knows the dirt inside and out. They really do. Uh, yep. <laughs> they really, really do. Yep. Uh, let's see. When are you going to start covering that? When it starts. Yeah. Although I do have news about the Snowdens. Um, do tell. Well, no, I'm going to say that for differently. For I'm not, not going to lump that into this because I think we've lumped enough into this live. We, lump, yeah, we lump a lot, don't we, Wicked? Yeah, there's, we do lump. there's a we're lot of lumpage for, on this. We're slide. lumpers. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, this, the point of this live, it was a hodgepodge live. We were talking about a lot, but uh, I'm not going to throw that into this mix at this point at two in the, at the two hour mark. People are trying to make more of a situation for their own content. Who's Louche? Louche? I Wait, John, everybody's saying it started last week. Shut up. What? No. Wait, are you guys here? It it did. I knew it because I saw the episode and I'm like, I saw the commercial and it seemed like it was the second episode. Yeah, it started <laughs> last week. Okay, so then this week we'll start our first uh, our first recap of it. Yay! Dang. Yeah, I um, I'm not liking the people this year too much. There's no shade. It's not the Snowdens. We'll You're not right this time, but it's close. You'll see. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, March fourth. You 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 are rooting, shooting. Yep. I knew it. Okay, so um, in the next day or so, maybe in the next couple of days, we'll we'll do our first recap of that. Dang. Okay. Also, we're gonna start doing obviously happily, right? So that'll be back on the um the calendar. That starts the seventeenth. You said. Melby just texted me. Melissa, no. we he has an All excellent right. panel for seeking sister wives. Believe me, I, you're gonna want to see it. Well, you'll see it soon. I thought we had like a couple. I, I thought I, I think I might have confused that with happily because I know happily is starting. Rita, you might be getting that your wish the, soon. <laughs> yeah, the first episode I didn't think was that great. Okay, so you I could definitely to, combine uh, the first two. No, you know, and then so we have happily, and then we have seeking sister wife, and then we have Jersey starting in May. In May, um, I don't know if people want me to cover Deal or No Deal Island. It's a good show, but I don't know if people want to talk about that. And then that is different than what I anticipated, Melissa. You're not getting. Uh, John, you need to have a massive text to let people know you're going live because I miss you. Okay, so you're not getting a notification? I used to set them up for the week, and I think I need to start doing it again, but everything's been so crazy, like, since, like, September, uh, where, but, um, and then I have, like, you know, two more interviews that, like, I have to put up. We're getting there. No longer at the lockup. That'll never happen. I'm sorry. I can't with that show. Yeah. Maybe you can start um, doing your IG live reminders. Yeah. Okay. Are we doing an after show? It's up to you. With the back of my eyelids. Do you want to do one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know. I might not make it. Maybe I'll hang for a little bit. Jeez. 1230. Damn. It's 1130. 1130. Oh, that's right. I moved my time up. Oh, that's right. Oh. That's tonight. Oh, it's fall. It's 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 spring ahead. Thank you, Wicked. We're going to miss an hour of sleep tonight. Yes. I went around and um, I think it was Susie or um, someone earlier. And so when I was waiting, I went and set all my clocks ahead. Good girl. You know what? And because it's, you know, daylight savings time, probably no after show tonight because we're all going to lose an hour anyways. So. Sorry. 
let's just let's just keep it at bay with this live and then tomorrow um maybe tomorrow we could do singing sister wives um, yay i'm excited yay i don't know what's gonna happen i have to get in contact with uh a couple of people but your um, peoples what is peoples all right put up put it to a vote if you want an answer live after yeah after show whatever one in the chat if you want one too if you don't because it's time Everybody vote to what? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, we got a one. <laughs> Wicked. I'm hey, I'm trying to counterbalance them. <laughs> <laughs> they want one. Damn all you number one people, and despite Wicked's four twos in the chat. Uh, <laughs> maybe we do like a short after show. It's going to have to be because we're all going to lose an hour. Shortly. Yeah. All righty. Um, let me end this one and then um, I'll do it, you know, middle tier. And it'll be quick. It'll be like the last round. So all you one people, you guys are the worst. One even did cold black and it's all these West Coast people. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. I will see you guys shortly. Let me set up the uh the after show and um I'll see you in like what time is it? Eleven thirty five. Ugh. Uh, I'll see you like in like 10 minutes. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.